Welcome back guys and today I have another light theory for you guys which by the way this theory does contain some Titanfall 2 spoilers so if you don't want to get spoiled I suggest you guys play the game or watch a walkthrough or something but now that I got out of the way and you've been warned I will have some warnings if you don't want to get spoiled if you still want to hear about Bangalore specific theory so yeah let's begin so guys today's theory is a real sad one and I'm gonna say I actually kind of shed a tear because I now believe Bangalore is the most underrated and underappreciated legend out of everybody and here's why some of you are going to say that Bangalore is a really good character but you don't like her personality wise because she does have that personality most people aren't attracted to so for example everybody likes Watson because she's cute and innocent people like Mirage because he's the goofy idiot that makes people laugh sometimes uh, people like Pathfinder because well he's just Pathfinder and he's a robot that gives people high fives and everybody else has their own thing but Bangalore kind of lives in this gray area where people might not like for example she always tries to show off how she's better than anybody name the weapon I'll still beat you here's a tip know what you're doing you sure you didn't just make it out of basic training what happened your weapon malfunction or did you <laughs> you played dead like a pro don't matter who you are back in the world you're in my house now and that's a, a personality that most people don't like but here's the thing once you learn her history and what happened to her and the sad reason why she plays the apex games you might actually come to appreciate her just a little bit because it's pretty sad so let's get started anita williams also known as bangalore is from the planet of gridiron and just to simplify gridiron it's basically a military base for the imc during the titanfall war so what we know about her family is that she has four brothers their names are monty z isaiah and jackson now i'm not sure if bangalore is the oldest the youngest or somewhere in between what we know is that the family is a very big military family in fact everybody in the family is serving under the imc and here's something very interesting about them that we found out later on thanks to tom casillo we learn is that one of their members is going to go serve they have a huge party based Basically, they take two days to make a party they cook some meat and they sing old folk tales that are not safe for work so basically they have a big party to honor or somebody that's going out to serve and here's the reason why because they understand very clearly that this is not a game but well they try to lighten up the mood because there is a chance that one of them could possibly be not ever come back so they want to at least have a good time and understand that no matter matter what they will never forget about them and always remember the good times they had with each other so you can just tell that they have a strong family bond and Anita or Bangalore being the only girl in the family and having three older or four older brothers I should say she kind of has a point to prove that hey just because I'm a girl I can keep up with the boys so I'm guessing she also joined the military which by the way she was a top class cadet because she was the only one that could take a peacekeeper and a choke and put it together blindfolded so but this is where we get to the really sad part about this and this is where we get to some spoilers now here's the thing we know that the imc lost the war now remember guys it these people are people no matter what side they're on um i don't care if they were in the imc or the militia they didn't have any grudges against each other remember and this is what i'm trying to explain about the whole story this whole story is what happens when the ambitions of the few affect the lives of so many like you're going to see a trend here of how war is bad and only the people who benefit from this are the very few elites that have their own agenda and their own proposition to rule it all and no matter what the imc says or does i'm gonna prove to you that they do not care about a single soldier of theirs after the battle of demeter um the militia were able to cut off the imc supply line now if you know anything about the art of war once you cut the supply line it's basically a game over situation 
situation where it's pretty much you're hoping for a miracle that reinforcements can somehow come in time which we now know they never did so this is what i think happened the imc clearly knew that their final hope for winning the war was what happened in the end of titanfall 2 which you guys um can look up because i kind of don't want to spoil it because it's a pretty good campaign but here's the thing what does this have to do with bangalore and her family in the sad story well we now know is that later on the war officially ended on 27 15 and it just so happens that the final battle was in gridiron and here's the thing that we learned that was pretty shocked it turns out that anita williams and her brother jackson was still part of the imc in the year 2730 now how is this possible if the war ended in 2715 what is happening why is the imc still in the frontier that's because the imc and the final remaining soldiers lost and communications were directly disconnected from all other imc soldiers what does this mean this means that it is a chance that monty seek and isaiah could have been in the final battle and unfortunately we now know is that nobody survived and here's the sad part it's sad because there is a chance that anita williams and jackson have no idea that the war ended so long ago in their minds they could be honestly pretending that they're still fighting against the militia even after all these years i know it sounds crazy but there are two options either they know the war is over or they're pretending that it's not over because here's the thing if it's true that the war is over then that means monty zeke and isaiah unfortunately did not survive because they were imc soldiers and they were in the final battle of gridiron and we have no idea what happened to their family but we do know that nobody survived that final battle nobody came back and here's even another sadder part there is a chance that jackson and anita williams bangalore don't know that the war is over because they lost communications with the imc i know what you're saying kevin that's crazy how would they not know that the war is over well it is possible because i did read an article about a japanese man named hiro onoda i think i butchered that name this guy even after world war ii was over still spent 29 years in the jungle thinking that the war was still going on until they finally convinced him that hey the war is over you can go home so as crazy as that sound there is a chance that jackson and bangalore just do not know that the war has been over for so many years now knowing jackson and bangalore they were probably really prideful soldiers for them they will give their lives for the imc they will give their lives for the core system but here's the thing the true plan for hammond robotics the imc they're one and the same was to control the other side of the universe their plan a was what happened in the Titan Four 2 campaign their plan b was very simple even if plan a didn't work we destabilized the frontier and here comes the syndicate the so-called waivers of peace which we now know have ties with hammond robotics in fact i'm willing to go as far as to say they're one in the same now why is this sad because this means that jackson and anita and all her brothers were used as pawns for a grander scheme and this honestly is pretty sick but what do you expect from Hammond Robotics? And here's the thing. In the year 2730, we know that Bangalore and her brother Jackson were going to recover this mercenary fleet when they got ambushed in the Outlands. In fact, Anita was surprised that something called a 406 was somehow attacking them. Now, if I have to bet money, I have to bet that this was the syndicate that attacked them with something called a 406 that I'm not sure what that means, but I have a feeling it has to be some kind of weapon that has to be related to the imc or hammond robotics because this what tells me is that years after the war because we know that the syndicate was coming into power somewhere around that time they actually attacked them they actually attacked imc soldiers on accident thinking they were just some kind of robbers because come at this point there is no imc soldiers left because the war has ended there's no reason for them to be in the frontier and 
In fact, the people who were left behind, they retired and became something else. We know this because Lifeline actually saved one of them and thanked her for giving her a new purpose in life. So what this tells me is sadly, Bangalore, unlike Crypto, who's trying to find the truth and, and expose the syndicate for what they are, Bangalore is trying to hide from the truth because in the Outlaws Journal, she is convinced that her brother is alive and that he settled down and married somebody. What clearly we know from this picture is that he unfortunately was blasted off the ship and I don't think he would have survived the atmosphere coming back into a planet. So why is Anita Williams in the games? It is said she's in the games because she needs money to go back to her planet of gridiron. Now here's the thing. She is a champion. She has money because we know you get a lot of money because we know Mirage has this big boat that he bought for himself and actually put in the games. So when you become a champion in the Apex games, you get a lot of money. Clearly she has enough money to go back home. Why doesn't she? It's very simple and it's very sad. Anita Williams knows that there is a chance that her family, all her family, her brothers and her mom and dad and her auntie who made a really good velvet cake are no longer alive. Unlike Mirage who can actually relate a lot to Bangalore because he also lost his brothers. He understands what it's like to be alone. In fact, I think he joined the games to bring a smile throughout the Outlands, no matter if they're in the core or the frontier, wherever. He fights to bring joy to people. I think Bangalore fights because it reminds her of the good old days when she was with her brothers, training and going on missions with them. And most importantly, I think the reason she actually fights in the Apex games is because she wants to forget that she is now maybe alone in this dark universe. Well guys, that's my theory about Bangalore. I know nobody has given her that much love, but I decided to give her some love and hopefully this actually makes it where people start appreciating her because her story is pretty dark and honestly, it reminds me a lot of Crypto Mirage and a little bit of Wraith mix in there. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this theory and I'll see you all next time. Peace. For that night so long ago Then your hands disappear I'll still find the place where you are